Hey everyone, this is part 6 of Door Fortress tutorial, and in this episode we're going to talk about the metal industry. So, the main part of the metal industry is two things, metal and fuel. There are three ways to get fuel. Two of them are fossil fuels, and the other one is using magma from the earth. The fossil fuels could either be coal or this stuff called lignite, but my map doesn't have any, so I have to make charcoal which is basically you make a wood furnace and w uh, with one piece of wood you can turn it into a piece of charcoal and that's good for one unit of smelting. So I already built a wood furnace and I've been making some charcoal right now but I like to have two of them because you just need so much charcoal because anytime you want to do anything it uses up one thing of fuel. So if we go to B, E, these are furnaces, one of them is a wood furnace so we'll just put that right here, and we'll make it out of obsidian, it's really easy. Then the next part is smelting, and at smelters, we turn raw ore into metal bars. So we'll build two of those. And finally, if you go to workshops, and we hit S, no. Okay, F, Metalsmith's Forge. This is where we turn metal bars into finished project products. So each one requires an anvil. So we'll pro we, and the nice thing is you can make more anvils, but that's why we brought one. So instead of having, well, we could have bought a steel anvil, but that's expensive from the merchant. So we'll just make that. So you just use your anvil and a building material. All right, so we'll let those get built. So right here are the stockpiles I have. So here's a wood stockpile, which is pretty basic. And then right here is a stone stockpile. And then if you change the settings, to, you can make it so just metallic ores inside of it. And then right up here is just a simple stockpile called bars and blocks that you make with B. It it's pretty much all metal. Like There's a few other things like soap bars that might go there. But you don't really have to worry about those. It's mostly going to be metal and f fuel, charcoal. And in a later episode, I'll talk about magma forges. And that's more of a late game, but more efficient use, because the nice thing about magma forges is that you don't need any fuel to use them. So there's magma smelters, but they're hard to set up right away, and just using charcoal for now is an easy way for early industry. So these are getting built. We have some charcoal getting made, and in this bin, we already have four pieces. So to start off, we're going to wait for the smelter to be done, but the forge is finished. In the meantime, I'll show you the bedrooms, they're coming along nice. Just build a bed and a door. Right there. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. So, but we're waiting, so might as well build some doors. Yeah, you need uh, an architect to build smelters for some reason. So, like I said, you just go to here and make sure everyone has architecture because it doesn't matter how skilled a dwarf is in it. Oops. No, wait, door. There we go. Alright. Can't really do anything without pausing it, so. Well, it's almost done right there. Alright, so a smelt is done. So, when you open it up, there's a list of every single ore in the game. And there's a lot. Or not really... Actually, yeah, there's ores and bars, so... Well, most of them are going to be red. And that means you don't have the ores to make it, but... Everything that's white means you can. So, on this map, we've mined out some hematite, which is iron. So is limonite and magnetite, I think. Yeah. Um, most of the stuff, I'm not sure right away. I mean, more of the common ones that you might find, like Galena, is lead and silver. Like Tetrahedrite is a copper ore. Some of them are self-explanatory, like platinum ore. But again, just like with anything, just look on the wiki and you'll know right away. So, native aluminum. The nice thing about native aluminum is it's not like some cheap little metal that we use nowadays. Back in the day, aluminum, aluminum was like really hard and rare to make it a metal form, so it was worth more than gold little fun fact. And then we've made a new easy process and now we can mass produce it. 
Anyway, a lot of this stuff... You could either use metal for making money, and you make that, like, uh, expensive metals like gold and silver into things like statues and crafts, but we want to focus on the industry part, so we'll just make a cheap, some cheap iron by smelting some hematite ore. Smelt five bars for now. So I have two... I have two uh, metal smithing guys, so they're both working hard on that. Right here. Oh, and make sure you have wood burning on if you want them to be able to smelt charcoal. We're back. I didn't really say goodbye to you guys before, but I'm just taking so long to smelt them that smelt these iron bars that I decided to just cut that little part out. Anyway, now that we have some finished products, what we can do is if you go to the metalsmith's forge. There's all sorts of stuff we can make. So there's weapons, armor, which is what mainly you're going to be using metal for. If it's like an industrial metal. So we'll make some iron weapons right now. We can make anything here. So since my next video is probably going to be about the military, let's start making some battle axes for our doors. Now iron is not the best metal to make stuff out of, but it's a nice cheap metal. Like It's better than copper, but... They're definitely better, like steel's the best, but it's just such an expensive recipe. And so complicated. Just look it up on the wiki. It's a lot easier. Like I'll try to explain it right now. While we're waiting for stuff. You need to combine iron and a source of fuel. Like uh charcoal or coke, which it which happens when you cook lignite or coal. And then you get pig iron, and with pig iron you need to combine it with flux stone. What oh it's a Leelzin. Actually, I don't think I showed you this in the last video, so let me show you. Now, this is how we request stuff. On the left is the big groups. We go through that with plus and minus. And on the right, we use our arrow keys. So what I want is... I'll just get some drinks, because I don't really need anything. So right here, you can see their priority. By default, they're all set to zero priority, so it doesn't matter. But if you go left and right, it raises and lowers the priority, so... We'll just put booze to max so we get a lot next year. So, I mean, you can go through it if you really need anything. But that's all I'm going to do for now. So, escape is done. And then, in a few seconds, the leels in will be like, Alright, now we want these from your merchants, and we'll get a list of stuff. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, he made the iron battle axe right there. So, we'll make... A stockpile for weapons, so hit P and P again for weapons. So you don't need too many, just make a 3x3 three three area. I'll also make one for armor, which is D and 3x3, three three, and another one for ammo, which is pretty much only bolts and some heavy siege equipment. At least that's all I think. So yeah, that's the metal industry. It just basically you make fuel, and if you have co if you have a uh, coal or lignite, you don't really need wood furnaces. But you're gonna need one to make one piece of charcoal at first because the difference with that is that you have to actually cook it. But you get a profit out of it, so you use one fuel, and lignite gets you two pieces of coke, so that's a profit of one piece of fuel. But coal will give you three pieces of coke so it's better to have coal but so you gotta make do with what you got so you cook it at the smelter and you would get out coke so that's all you need you just melt your bars here and you forge your items at the metal smith's forge so it's really easy in fact I'll just show you how to make more anvils so you go to F for furniture I think iron and right is it here it's not here, is it? No. No, it's other objects. Iron. Yeah, there we go. Forge, iron, anvil. So that way we can make another metalsmith's forge. And let's see what he wants. Oh, no, no, this isn't what he wants. This is just like a double check just, just to make sure that you got... So the metalsmith... Metal industry is really important. Okay, here we go. Not yet, actually. Oh, she's gonna interrupt me if I start talking. 
I know he's gonna. Alright, anyway, so the Metalsmith's Forge... Uh... Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. The Metal Industry. There we go. It's really important for Door Fortress, and... You know, once you get Magma Forges, it becomes a lot easier, but... You need to have a more developed fort to have those. Alright, so now let's see what he wants. So he's just random items. It really doesn't matter. Just keep selling the same crafts, and you'll get enough money. Anyway, yeah, so you can just make a whole lot of weapons. The metalsmith's in metal. I keep calling it the metalsmith industry. It's really just the metal industry. But you can call it whatever you want. The metal industry is really important for the military to make weapons and armor. So I'll get into that in the next video. So once I get some more dwarves, because right now we don't really have enough for an army. We want about ten that you can make. But anyway, I'll get into the details in the next video. So that was part six, and I'll see you next time.